Well, hello there. We have a great topic at hand. A fellow subscriber, Lazaro, suggested that we would talk about passiveness. And this is such a demoralizing place to be in. So we should delve into this topic point by point. First of all, we have to draw distinctions between being passive and being content with your living situation. Because there's a quite difference. Being passive means that you're living a life that you aren't quite content with. You're just sitting on a boat and letting the waves take you to an unknown destination. And that unknown destination is misery and you don't want to be there. But if you actively choose to be passive, like going off grid, or being quite satisfied with your career, the people that you surround you with, and letting the days just pass by because you feel fulfillment within. There are people like that, but unfortunately, some of them lie to themselves, trying to convince themselves that they're at the place they always dreamt about. Being actively passive and being passively passive are different things, because the first one comes from the place of abundance, love, and the second one comes from the place of fear, scarcity. So we have to mention the reasons behind being a passive person. Like many other mental issues, being passive comes from childhood. It comes from insecure upbringings. Children learn by watching you, interacting with your surroundings, not by listening to what you have to say. And most often than not, passive people have passive parents. That kind of a mentality comes from slow self-esteem, not believing in yourself, and trying to go by without creating any conflicts with people. That's why it's so damn hard to reprogram yourself into becoming more active, into taking accountability of your own life, ownership. It's like you almost have to break yourself down so you can build yourself up. A new version of yourself, the one with self-respect. So to describe passiveness, one could say that a passive person doesn't come out of the comfort zone as often as it takes in order to get where you want. And yes, when you say a comfort zone, it really means a safe space, a state where your fear triggers don't bother you so much. Such people tend to be hesitant, approval seeking. Every time that person speaks to someone, there has to be some kind of a qualification. I bet you have that person in your social circle. Do you know why a bicycle couldn't get up? It's because it was too tired. <laughs> Ha, yeah, yeah. Is it funny? Should I laugh? People who are a little bit slimy, they don't voice their own opinions. Rather try to be very politically correct so that they don't trigger or upset anyone. A passive person is his or her own worst critic, judging the self before even voicing the opinion, fearing that someone else is going to do the same. So it's better to be the first anyway. A person who wants to be loved by everyone because God forbid someone say negative about me. Being as such, you say always something that everyone wants to hear, not how you really feel. That passiveness is corrosive. You're trying to avoid public places because you don't want to unnecessarily stir up some emotions. A passive person sits quietly and lets the life pass by. Passive people tend to be superstitious. They believe in luck. They believe in hope. They believe in fate and destiny. They don't want to actively participate. They don't want to take actions and let the fate, let the life to decide for them. I have a video on hope. Watch that one to get a better understanding of what I mean. Destiny is something that you can create yourself. It's not set in stones. Because you cannot quite picture destiny without talking about history. I've been asked about luck. And in my opinion, luck is something that comes to you after a lot of practice, after a lot of hard work, because you increase your chances to succeed with whatever you do. But conventionally, luck is something that you just have or not. It's like telling a successful person that you are blessed, you had luck. It doesn't work like that. Most of the times, we never see talented people behind closed doors and the amount of blood sweat and tears they invest in their craft. A passive person tends to have a commitment issues and I don't mean in relationships only. I mean with everything in life. Like committing to doing something particular and sticking to it through thick and thin. It's about taking your own words very seriously because disappointing yourself creates the worst kind of pain. A passive person is very agreeable, tends to say yes to many things without wanting, without wishing for it. But I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I want them to like me. Paradoxically enough, you hurt your own feelings. You don't like your own self when you do such things. 
put yourself always first in your priority list. All this boils down to one particular characteristic of a passive person, not being able to make very important decisions in life. That feeling is very crippling when you don't steer your own destination. It's like when you're sitting on a roller coaster and let the life decide for you. Because at that point you are an NPC, non-playable character. So what should you do about this to take the charge of your own life? The reason why we care about others' opinions, why we live by others' words, why we follow others' steps is because we're empty inside. That emptiness is lack of self-esteem. Not knowing who you are, what you should do in life, and what you're striving for, your ambitions, your goals, your aspirations. And to be honest, it takes very long time to reverse this. But the good news is that you're on your way. You have taken your first steps. As long as I can remember, it has always been my nightmare to live others' lives to go this conventional route of becoming someone according others' ideas. Go to school, finish a university education, get a prestigious job and work for someone, climb up the career ladder and get your sense of accomplishment through others' approval. This submissive state is even more painful for men because a man without a purpose is like a chicken without a head, running around in circles blindly experiencing pain. I say enough, it's time for you to get your shit together. Because if you ignore life, it will ignore you. Osain out.